We have a box. It needs to be opened. And I was going to do this outside, but we, as in much of the country here in the United States, are experiencing a rather severe heat wave. So I'm inside. Even though it would be much more beautiful outside. The box is gone. Now I have some beautiful green bubble wrap. But I want to tell you a little bit about this. I have been a fan, a believer in high spirits flutes not since the very beginning of my flute journey in 2008. I started with something different and the next couple of flutes I bought were from other makers. But about my fourth or fifth, somewhere in there, flute, I got a High Spirits and then I talked to High Spirits and I became a dealer, small dealer, very small dealer. But I became a dealer. One of the flutes that I had sort of always wanted of theirs was what they call their Greyhawk. Never bought one. I had made a B flat flute and I used it in one of my recordings. I acquired one or two other B flat flutes, uh, actually two or three other B flat flutes in the, in the ensuing years. Um, never got one from High Spirits, but I always kind of, in the back of my mind, I always kind of thought that I would like one of theirs. I was looking at the Horizons, I think it's the Flute Exchange, used flutes where people, I don't know exactly how it works, I'm sorry Johnny, um, I'm, I'm more of a purchaser, collector, I do sell flutes from my collection, but I do that through my own means rather than go offer them through another source. Um, but I found this on the Horizons used uh, site at a pretty good price. Got some other little things here. I'll, I'll kind of do a picture of those. Anyway, I found High Spirits Greyhawk key of B flat Eastern Red Aromatic Cedar. Pretty good condition. Got a couple little scuffs. This is being picked up through my little wireless mic that is under my shirt. Here's what it sounds like dry.
Not bad. Not bad. High Spirits Flutes is based in Patagonia, Arizona. Very, very southern Arizona, almost into Mexico. I did visit their shop years ago. Uh, shortly after I became a dealer, I went and visited them. Met Odell. Um, and I met a couple other employees there and, and I very, very much a fan of the standard high spirits flutes. I'm not much of a fan of the spirit style flutes that they make, more of a whistle type mouthpiece instead of having a pseudo slow air chamber. Um, don't like that design. Don't like that design all that much. It's okay. I, it's not my preference. This is my preference. So I hope they continue to make those. Right now they have this available on their website. About $125 if I remember correctly. Let's add some reverb now. Reverb and delay. Glad I picked one up. Glad I picked one up. This still will not play a song that I wrote on a B flat flute. It might come close. It might come close. I'd have to practice a little bit with it. But high spirits flutes. This is their Gray Hawk. It is one of the few, no, it's the only flute that they make that isn't what I would call a standard offering. Standards in the mid-range being A, G, F sharp, um, E, they don't have an F usually, they made one batch, I think, for Stephen Rushing Wind. Uh, e, D, C, um, they do make a B that is higher than this, and a C, the Merlin. But this is the only one that is like a B flat, A sharp. The F sharp is considered a standard key for some reason in the Native American style flute community. I, some people feel that that is the original key, and that's not true. Traditionally, flutes were made to mimic the vocal traditions of that people group. Those would change not only geographical areas, but from more family-ish groups also. So a flute maker would teach whoever was learning in that group what they 
found that seemed to work well for their group. And they would pass along those teachings the way that they made their flutes, depending on what resources they had, is what the flutes were made out of. It could have been river cane, it could have been many different types of woods, depending on what area that they lived in or frequented. Anyway, not quite sure why F sharp was chosen over F. It just was. Um, anyway, High Spirits Flutes, Patagonia, Arizona. Odell Borg is the man behind that. They are a one-piece board design. Standard series, solid piece of wood, and they bore or drill and stop to create the bore section. Mouthpiece, breath hole, three-eighths of an inch. They bore and stop to create the solid wall that is right about here. Um, that's how their standard flutes are designed. Signature flutes, a little bit different, a little bit different. Signature flutes do have a little bit larger bore diameter over the standard series, not by much, but a little bit larger bore, and a little bit larger slow air chamber area with a glued-in wall. I prefer the standard series performance-wise um, and tonally. Smaller bore emphasizes a little bit more of the higher harmonics in the notes. Larger bores tend to mellow out the flute. I like, I like more responsive flutes, to be honest. And the standard ones for me, and my playing style, I like the sound of better. Response-wise, they're close. They're very, very close. But I think the standard ones for me and my playing style respond a little bit nicer. They tend to do some overblowing techniques. I love that. Not all of their signature flutes will get that kind of response for for that kind of a flourish ending or just a flourish. It's sharp. It's it's a little past the octave type notes. I love them. I love them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and if you haven't yet please subscribe click the little bell down over there so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. It could be taking a first look at a flute that is new to me. It could be a more in-depth review where I get into measurements and things like that. I will would list those in the description box below in a flute review. This is just a first look. Um, it could be learning how to play the Native American style flute, one of the simplest melodical instruments in the world to learn how to play. It could be a music video where the Native American style flute gets the spotlight shown on it. Could be solo by itself, could be with another flute, it could be with many other types of instruments, which is what I tend to prefer personally. Um, just, it allows me to express myself more fully, I think. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.